What is up, everybody? It's your boy Tyler here. This is now episode four of TC's Top 10 Picks Against the Spread. And since the weather's really nice, I decided to film today's video outside of my apartment on the patio today. So uh, let's dive right into it. We got six games, or sorry, seven games on the college docket that I'm picking against the spread for this week. First of which is seventh ranked Old Miss going to Death Valley to take on LSU. And I'm going to say this, L Old Miss is on a roll, man. Still undefeated, still looking pretty good. They're playing like dogs out there. But however, Las Vegas has the spread at LSU minus one and a half. Are you begging people to pick Ole Miss to win the game outright? Well, if that's what you want, you got it. I'm picking Ole Miss to win the game outright. Nothing more that needs to be said there. Next game that I'm picking is Minnesota going on the road to take on 16th ranked Penn State, who just got humbled by Michigan last week in the big house and suffered their first loss of the season. Las Vegas has the spread at Penn State minus five. Those boys are probably going to be playing really, really angry this week coming off that big loss. Um, so I'm going to pick Penn State against the spread so that just because they're going to want to get back on track. So we'll make that pick there. And then we got some ranked versus ranked showdowns this weekend. Uh, one of which is 20th ranked Texas, the Longhorns, going to Oklahoma State, who is ranked 11th in the country right now. And also, Oklahoma State is coming off their first loss of the season last week against TCU, which um, I predicted that. So, a flex a little bit about that. Um, so, Vegas has the spread at Texas minus 6, even on the road. I think that's dangerous to make the spread at Texas minus six. So with the fact that Oklahoma State's at home, they're coming off a big loss last week, and they're going to want to get back on track as well, I'm going to pick the Cowboys of Oklahoma State to win the game outright. So no hook em horns this week. Uh, next game is 24th-ranked Mississippi State traveling to 6th-ranked Alabama who is also coming off their first loss of the season last week at Tennessee, which I predicted that. And if you doubt me, check out my last video that I did. And yeah, I predicted Tennessee was going to win the game outright. And I did it. Anyway, let's get back to back on track here. So the spread is Alabama minus 21. They're at home. They just had a big loss last week. They're going to want to stay in the college football playoff picture, so I'm going to pick Alabama to win the game and cover the spread. Next game is 17th-ranked Kansas State, the Wildcats, traveling to Fort Worth to take on 8th-ranked TCU, who is still undefeated after a huge win last week against Oklahoma State. Um, and Vegas has the spread at TCU minus 3.5. Um... Call me crazy, but I'm going to pick TCU against the spread. Then we have a top 10 showdown in the Pac-12 this weekend. UCLA at Oregon. UCLA is 9th in the country. Oregon is 10th in the country. And it was just revealed today that Oregon is going to be playing some stomp out cancer uniforms this weekend. Um, and they look pretty sweet um, with it bring, being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But then here's a little nugget about each team. UCLA is still unbeaten and currently the Pac-12's best candidate for the college football playoff. And Oregon, they've won five straight games after they got humbled by the Bulldogs in week one in the Georgia Dome. Or, sorry, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Gosh, I'm, st I'm still not over that. Anyway, so the spread is Oregon minus six and a half. I'm tempted to pick them to cover the spread or at least win the game. But I think UCLA, I think they will rise to the occasion 
and keep their name in the mix for the college football playoff, especially since USC lost last week. So, again, call me crazy, but I think UCLA is going to win the game outright. Um, But it's going to be a close game, I think. It's going to come down to whoever has the ball last in the fourth quarter, just whoever can make a play late in the game, to be honest. And then the last game on the college docket is the Battle of the Unbeatens, 14th ranked Syracuse at number 5 Clemson. The spread is Clemson minus 14. That team has been a bit of a roller coaster ride this this year. There's there's been times where they've looked really 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 good, like the Clemson that we've come to know and love in the past decade under uh, Dabo Sweeney. But then they've had times where they have just struggled and just won games ugly basically. Um so against the spread of Clemson minus 14, I'm going to pick Syracuse against the spread, but Clemson wins the game. That's my prediction there. Uh, the first NFL game I'm picking is Colts at the Titans. The spread is Tennessee minus two and a half, probably because they're at home. But I think the Colts have started finally getting something going, and they get Jonathan Taylor back this week. So I'm going to pick the Colts outright to beat the Titans, especially with it being a divisional game. Like they're going to feel the urgency there. Um, next game is the New York Giants at the Jacksonville Jaguars. The spread is Jacksonville minus three. Not a chance they cover the spread or even win the game. I'm picking the Giants. They look pretty good this year. Um, I would say Brian Dayball is the prime candidate to be coach of the year this year, in my opinion. And then last but certainly not least is the Seattle Seahawks at the L.A. Chargers. The spread is the Chargers minus five. I'm picking the Chargers to cover the spread. I, I think it'll be fairly close, but I think they'll win, I think, by a touchdown, which would easily cover the spread there. Um, so I went five and five in the first episode, five and five in the second episode, two weeks ago and then last week I went four and six so I had my first losing week against the spread so I'm shooting for six and four this week maybe seven and three um we'll see how that goes um but I'm really looking forward to the college football this weekend and um so of course you know I'm also looking forward to the NFL matchups on Sunday so not looking forward to the one on Monday Mm. It's Bears versus Patriots. I'm not watching it. So, Um, we actually got an entertaining Thursday night football game last night. So, that was a shocker. Um, But, yeah, otherwise, I'm looking forward to the football this weekend. And hopefully, you guys have a great weekend. Take care.